Hi, I'm Julie Richards. Um, I'm a member of Gen Ed faculty. Um, I'm currently teaching HD bachelor's programmes. I'm teaching on the liberal studies programmes. And I'm team leader for English for engineering technology. Um, well, I, I try to use technology as much as I can in order to engage the students and also to make my life and their life much easier in terms of um, trying to get rid of, of paper in the classroom, trying to make them interactive, um, encouraging them to collaborate with each other. Um, the Web2 tools that I use most frequently, um, up until this year I've used Blogger very effectively, um, mainly for the students to post writing activities. These can then be viewed by other students. Um, other students and myself can comment on them as well. Um, and my students have enjoyed that because they haven't had to worry about pieces of paper in the classroom. Um, they've been able to look at each other's work, they've been able to peer correct, they've been able to learn from each other. Um, the other tool that I use constantly now, which has really replaced Blogger, is Edmodo, which is much more interactive. Um, that's very easy to use because it looks like Facebook and so the students immediately feel very familiar with it. Um, I use that for sending the students instructions and materials at the start of the lesson. Uh, they can then um, access all kinds of files, PowerPoints, they can access uh, reading files, I can send them links to newspaper articles and they've always got those um, constantly on their laptop, they can always access it from, from any computer or from their phone or from their iPad. So any kind of device, which I think is excellent, so it's immediately portable everywhere. Um, I also use it for setting up discussions, uh, for sending the students reminders, and also to encourage them to share ideas as well. Um, the other tool that I use frequently is YouTube. I use that myself. To, uh, to demonstrate or to back up or follow up information in the classroom and then I also ask the students either to make their own videos or also to use videos um, that they, they, what they do is they, um, they turn the sound down so that they have the visual media and then they present over it themselves. So they're, they're kind of interacting with it and I, and I find very short videos, sort of two or three minutes work really well with the students and really help them with their presentation skills. So at the moment those are the three tools that I use most frequently. I think as a teacher it's made my life a lot easier uh, in that I don't have to carry around pieces of paper I think the students like it because they can access it 24-7 um, and they don't have to worry about bringing folders with them. I think in terms of, of actually improving their learning is that um, they can constantly interact with me and they can constantly interact with others um, and it extends their learning outside of the classroom. So sometimes I'm, I'm at home in the evening and I might have a message from a student and I encourage them to contact me any time, obviously not during the night, but I don't mind students contact me and contacting me and, and sending me messages so that we're constantly interacting with each other all the time. And I think that gives them a, a kind of security that they can do their work at any time. It's not just, they're learning English all the time, it's not just limited to their lesson time. Um, in terms of things like uh, using YouTube, I think the students like the fact that they've, they've got the security of a moving picture and it actually helps them with pacing their language and, and they practice doing the presentations and they actually copy or mimic the original voiceover and then they try and repeat it themselves. So I, I, th I think that's been quite a creative way. It was actually one of the students who, who said to me, could he do that? Um, and I've now developed that with a lot of my classes. Most of the time I think so, yes. The students tell me that, that they really enjoy using Edmodo and, and after we've started using it for a few lessons they actually want to have everything delivered to them via Edmodo which helps me and them keep a track. It also tracks what work they've submitted, um, it's got a calendar tool in there so they know what assignments are coming up, they know when the due date is 
and we're both myself and the students we're all very clear on what work they've completed and what they haven't um, it also enables me to set them little mini quizzes on a regular basis which they enjoy um, so I think that's been that's been very effective and the feedback that I've had from students in their reflection on the course has been that they really enjoy having their work recorded in this way I think Blogger was more of a challenge. It was more difficult to set up. Um, it took some time uh, and sometimes the students forgot their passwords and there wasn't any way that I could actually recover their passwords for them. Sometimes it, it took a while because I think they have to go into Google accounts first so it's much more complicated. Now Admodo is very simple and it can be set up within, with, within one or two minutes at the beginning of a class. And once they've set it up, if they do forget their password, I can always access it. So it, th those kind of sort of technical things are not an issue. I also find that Edmodo works very well. It's extremely reliable. Um, and there haven't been any technical issues with it at all, um, which, which really has made a difference. Um, so from the technical side, there haven't really been any problems. So there wasn't really, there hasn't really been anything to resolve um, using Edmodo. With YouTube, I think one of the, the problems with that is the time that sometimes it takes for it to download or you, you have it buffering, so you have interruptions. So the students have to be quite careful in their selection of appropriate um, videos that actually work properly in the classroom. Yes, I think so. Um, I think it's engaged the students on a variety of levels because they can, because they can use it on their laptop or on an iPad or on, on a on a smartphone. Um, they've enjoyed the mobility of it and, and being able to access it um, and upload things at, at any time. Some of my students, not all of them, but a few of them have actually used it to send messages to each other. Uh, one of them regularly posts. Or on it, what he's doing at the weekend, um, when he's been involved in conferences, he sends notes to other students. So yes, I, I think it has engaged them, yes. Uh, yes, I think so. Um, they tell me they were. They tell me they were more motivated by that than by pieces of paper. Um, they cer they're certainly more motivated by the work being delivered in that way than they are from a textbook as well. Um, and in the future, I, I think I'm going to, to attempt to deliver absolutely everything in my classes through Edmodo so that they have the materials in advance. If they want to, they can, they can read through them, um, they can access them after the lesson, they can download them, they can upload their work onto them. All presentations, all, all, all the work that they do now is going to be stored on Edmodo so that they have complete access to it the whole time. And I'd also like to start using the gradebook on Edmodo as well as a record for them of their progress through the course in addition to the portal because it is very accessible to them. Um, yes, I try and use as many different kinds of media as I can. Um, I use audio files for listening materials. Um, I've started using podcasts for listening practice, usually one or two minute podcasts, trying to get them used to different kinds of authentic voice, um, particularly in engineering. There are a lot of podcasts on, on various topics. Um, so we've used those. I've also got purpose-made um, educational videos uh, which, we've, which we've resourced through the library in addition to YouTube videos as well. Uh, I try to encourage the students to use the media, so I encourage them to actually use the videos to teach the other members of the class. I try not to make it all centred on, on myself. Um, I try to encourage them to do their presentation, embed uh, maybe a video in their presentations so that it adds variety. Um, 
So the onus is on them to use the different types of media, not me.